Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. So welcome back to the lanes here, guys, in Barrie. We're at Bolarama. And we're looking at a ball that I am very, very excited to review here. Now, we are on a typical house shot. Boom! And we're looking at the Black Widow 2.0. Now, being a person who's been on staff with Brunswick for the last few years, uh, I never got to throw this ball. I never got to throw any of the original Black Widows. And that made me sad. Uh, not because... I don't love Brunswick, but because the Black Widow was such an unusual piece, such a special piece that the Hammer Staffers had access to, it made them better than everybody else, and they won a whole bunch of titles with it. Now that we have access to it, now that I have access to it, it's been re-released, I am super, super, super duper excited. So you can see my first shot was at 25, and it struck. Another one there. Oh, I love... Yes, I ringed... I, I, you know, ring 10 there, but I still love this shot. So I want to talk about this a little bit. When we talk about companies, they have generally a defined type of motion across their lines. Brunswick is known for having smoother equipment. Radical is the biggest hooking equipment with the most angle. Uh, Storm has, you know, they get down lane before they hook. You know, they're, they're, they're different motion, the way they look. They, the Black Widow used a technology that Brunswick has not been using uh, that I know of, I can't think of any time, uh, which is a dual density core. And you see that when I, I miss that and I tripped over my feet. I'm an idiot. This, these dual density cores allowed them to shift the weight around and kind of change the way the motion of the ball looks. So even though, though this ball's numbers, the core numbers, match up with a lot of things that we've seen from Brunswick before, this motion is something that, that they have never had. It's a big, sweeping, hooking ball that is still very, very smooth, very controllable. And you can see... When the ball, when I throw the ball, you know, properly, <laughs> um, which will be right here, it gets down lane and it's smooth in the front, but it still has a lot of motion down lane. You can see how that one, even though it's a solid ball, with a 2,000 cover stock, a 2,000 a grit cover stock, it read it so quickly and snapped, but not in a, an uncontrolled way. It's kind of hard to explain. Just just watch it as it goes through the pocket, especially on that last shot. Um, and I have kept moving. I started at 25. That last shot was at 30. This next one's going to be at 35. The ball just seemed to get down lane smoothly like a regular hammer Brunswick ball. But then when it saw the friction down lane and the core characteristics kick in, you can see it just... Oh, oh, I love that. Um, this is one that, as soon as I threw it, I ordered more because I knew that it was something that was very unique to the line, very unique to the brands that I wanted to have in my bag, especially when I need the ball to get down lane. Being a slightly higher RG ball, you can see how a low tilt bowler like myself, I mean, it's only 250, I think, as opposed to 248. It amplifies the characteristics of, of the ball motion, of you know what you're seeing. And it's allowing the ball to get down lane and still have better motion to get through the pins, but still control the pattern without... It's like having an angular ball on an over-under condition... So everyone else is over under and can't get it to, to to look right, and all you gotta do is just throw your shot. That's how I feel about this ball. Um, a low tilt bowler. I've had I've had Nick throw it. I've uh, unfortunately not been able to have Wayne throw it yet. But this is the kind of thing that you can just need. You see me throwing my intel here. It's so predictable. No matter the the lane condition, no matter the amount of friction, no matter your style. 
I had this one and between six and ten boards stronger, but the same distance as my Intel and a much better motion. Such an incredible motion. So uh, if you're looking for something special, this needs to be in your bag. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.